Hey YouTube, it's Evan Magician 34 I've got something really different for you. This is not competitive. Uh, this is just kind of a me deck. Like if they, if I was a character on the TV show or something like that, this would be the structure deck for me. Um, if you want to copy this and run it, well, have fun with that. But it's not really a uh, like fiercely competitive deck. And I mean, you could theoretically hammer it into a more competitive variant um, if you wanted to. But that's not what this is about. This is about just having fun and running cards I really like. And so it's just here for you to kind of look at and go, hmm, oh, I see. So first off, three copies of my favorite card of all time, Ebon Magician Kurian. One copy of Reptilian Naga. Two copies of Magical Exemplar. One copy of Lila Lightsworn Sorceress. One copy of Aaron Lightsworn Monk. One copy of Witch of the Black Rose. Gotta love her. She's so gothic, Lolita. Cyber Tutu. Because she's really cute. Sorry, the resolution's probably not so high, but if you want to get a better look at the art on any of these cards, that's what Yu-Gi-Oh! Wiki's for. Three copies of Deep Sea Diva. She just fits so well with everything else. And one copy of Reese the Ice Mistress. Also, my friend from a long time ago, now in convenient foil form, Snipe Hunter. Not nearly as fantastic as he used to be, but he was always loyal and good to me. So, can't go wrong with that guy. Kai's the Shadow Mark. And though he may have been forgotten by many, Dark Arm Dragon is still freaking awesome in my book. Medium is the Ice Barrier. Just because she looks so gosh darn awesome. And one of my favorite underdogs, which a few of you out there may have actually seen me use once in a blue moon, just as kind of a funny sideboard card, but uh, it actually does have some real cool potential. Gandora, the Dragon of Destruction. I just think this guy's awesome. Um, he's just a lot of fun. He's got a real big field upset effect when it actually goes off, so. Anyway. I also really like this card, as if you didn't know. Ice Master, she's just a cool looking card, and you can summon her off of uh, Deep Sea Diva really easily, so. Also like Ice Queen, sort of a format legal demock, but she just looks really cool, so. And my favorite ritual monster of all time, remember this is just a structure deck, whatever, but I've always really liked Skull Guardian, I thought he looked really cool and he's pretty hard to find. I always thought he deserved to get a foil version at some time, but um, anyway, Skull Guardian. And to go with that, Navox's Prayer. Another really awesome looking card that, yeah, come on, this deserves to be in foil, why not? They foil up so much other stuff that isn't really quote unquote tournament level. So why not a card like this that actually has cool looking art? And a cool name, that's, that's just an awesome name. Alright, MST. And Brain Control, because anybody who's played me in real life knows that I just love to hit things with Brain Control. So that. And two copies of one of my favorite little hidden cards that nobody ever seems to use, but for a deck like this, it just fits so well, and it fits Koran so well. Two copies of Heart of Clear Water. It's protection in many forms, all in one. So, hard to beat this. Soul Release. And it's actually meta good, too. I mean, it's not a bad card. But it just has such sweet art, and it always has. Level Limit, because Koran likes defense and control. And another one of my favorite hidden cards, Book of Eclipse. So, yeah. Torrential, Revenge Kill. Mirror Force, I remember I was like one of the first people to ever use Mirror Force in my area way back when Metal Raiders came out, so I felt like I had to include it. Call of the Haunted, a nice end of turn. Hey, I still get it back for a Tribute or Sync. I always like the ability of Call of the Haunted to get people by surprise at the end phase. Gravity Bind, another, another Kuran loving card. Solemn Judgment, God says no. Yet another one of my all-time favorite trick cards, Blasting Fuse, because everybody always sets their stuff right down the middle. So this can be a nice cheap way to just blow it all away. Especially if they say activate a spell to try to pop your monster. So it's, uh, it's a cool way to go. Divine Wrath, another underestimated card. As well as Karma Cut, which also has the Awesome Karma Cut artwork there with Warrior Lady of the Wasteland. Another cool Kuran art card. Arrival Appears, which actually, 
a card worthy of some note in actual competitive play maybe these days, because synchros give you a lot of opportunities to actually put this card to good use. But uh, that's another video. So, yeah. Right now we're just basically including it for the cool art. And another card that doesn't get the billing it really deserves, Penalty Game. Yeah, I know a lot of you probably, if you've actually stayed with me this long, by the way, in this video, um, congratulations. But uh, if you don't know what this does, look it up on Yu-Gi-Oh! Wiki. It's actually a pretty cool card. Um, and you can use it in a lot of the same capacity as you can Trap Dust Shoot. So. And just like most structure decks now give you a few synchros, I'm going to give you a few of my favorite synchros. Um, I didn't really like that many equip spells, to be honest, so I didn't end up including Power Tool Dragon, but he's always I've always had a soft spot for him, even though I didn't include him. Avenging Knight Parshaf, overlooked and lovable, and yes, he can be summoned in this deck, if you don't know how. Um, rewind and invest some time. Thought Ruler Arcfiends, another guy who's kind of underloved, but really cool. He's a nice way to just beat stuff down. Psychic Life Trancer, one of my favorite seven star synchros. Brian Act just fits so gosh darn well, and he does look really awesome, and he was very abused back in the day when he first came out, which wasn't that long ago, so I felt like he needed to be in here. And Tempest, ooh, a real secret rare Tempest, ooh. Yeah, I just love her, she's awesome looking. And Magical Android, the underappreciated 5-star Synchro. And so, there you go. My me structure deck. And until next time, rate, comment, subscribe, and enjoy.